It's ugly, deadly, and unstoppable. It's the cane toad, or bufo marinus, to the experts. Introduced into Queensland 60 years ago, it stayed on and is now a much bigger threat than the cane beetle, which it was brought in to eradicate. It spread throughout much of Queensland and moved further afield into the Northern Territory and New South Wales. So far, researchers have had no luck in stopping the prolific breeders. The toads have no natural predators and there's no virus to combat them. Its deadly venom squirted when under attack has killed many native animals. It's our latest cache. Cane toads from the north of the state. Oh, just a large one? Yeah. yeah. A large part of the research into cane toads is carried out here right at Queensland things. Museum's um, vertebrate department. It's mainly in the old Dr. Glenn Ingram is a scientist and senior curator at the museum. Established. And they've just become a major part of the, uh, the fauna that you see, the animals in your yard, the, the animals you run over are mainly cane toads. They're just thick, they're just eating everything. At the moment, it's the general public who've had to deal with the cane toad problem firsthand. There are a number of campaigns telling people that done the right way, it's okay and safe to kill a toad. They, they really need to be sort of um, shown the way where they can actually eradicate toads. And it'd be tremendous if everybody had a philosophy that they wanted to make their backyard cane toad free. Former Brisbane City Councillor Greg Stegman says he has no hesitation in killing cane toads. The method he uses is seen as the most humane, freezing them to death. Cane toads only squirt venom when under direct attack, so handled correctly, they don't pose a problem. They're put into the household freezer for about 16 hours, and because they're cold-blooded creatures, gradually their heartbeat slows down, and they die. Experts believe that a cure for this epidemic is most likely to be found in Australia, because of the enormous amount of time spent researching the cane toad and its victims. Along the way, there have been some quite amazing results. Scientists say they've found that nature has found its own way of fighting back, and animals have worked out how to kill the toad and avoid its poisonous skin and venom. Some birds will just use their beaks and push it against the stomach and eventually break through and pull the innards out, and they won't eat the skin. Not ones to miss an opportunity, Australians have capitalized on their misfortunes. Alongside the koalas and kangaroos are the cane toad, stuck, of course, offering the tourists the ultimate alternative souvenir gift.